Join the ride with this year's Highlighted Farmers to give you a look at what it's like inside the cab during harvest season. It's the Cab Cam, brought to you by Hancock and Sarah Gordo, Farm Bureau, Petro Blend, Mason City All Risk, MBT Bank, Johnson Oil, and Linex. And now, let's go to the cab with your host, Jay Brooks. another episode of the Camp Cam, and we're in now with uh, Brad Harris, and we're in the John Deere, and Brad, thanks for taking the time on this ride in today. Yes, thanks for coming out. Yeah, so tell us what, we're in, we're in Beans, just north yep. of Mason City. Yep, we're just uh, right north of the movie theaters, uh, we do a lot of in-town farming around uh, Mason City and Clear Lake, so uh, uh, we're used to, to all the traffic, and uh, this is my brother's field right now. Uh, we're getting down there on beans. Um, after today, we'll probably have 70 acres left. So uh, we feel like we're doing pretty good. How, how is that with uh, working with the, you know, we were talking with another farmer, too, that has the, the families involved and, and things. And I said, how, how is that working with a sibling or even dad? Well, unfortunately, Brian and I get along uh, really well, and, and uh, as well with dad, too. Uh, Dad's 70, 73, I think, this next month. and. Uh, uh, we, he's out here every day with us, so that's part of the uh, what we enjoy is being able to three of us do the acres that we have, and uh, and not have to hire out too much. We do have a friend that comes out, uh, Joel, that runs the green cart and corn, but otherwise it's the three of us doing this. How, how does uh, Dad take it over the technology or adapt it to it? Uh, he, he does pretty good, but most of the time it's Brian and I uh, uh, running the combine of beans and. Uh, he likes to watch uh, watch everything work, but he just soon uh, <laughs> just soon watch right now. But he, he runs the trucks and the grain cart, and uh, and maybe in corn he'll run the run the combine. Yeah. What is what is one of the biggest things that you you've liked with the agriculture over the years that's maybe changed for the best or the worst? Well, obviously the technology has changed so much uh, since even even I've started and Dad obviously, but uh, that we. Right now, I'm talking to you, and, and uh, it's combine steering itself, and you can take the time to look at rocks or you know keep an eye on things a little more than just uh, steering. Um, the varieties, the hybrids, are, are, are much better. Um, they're more tolerant to the different conditions, and uh, they yield better, so that's even better for us. They dry down; the corn dries down better too. Now you're taking uh, taking beans out of what, about 15, you said? 14. Well, these are, the monitor says it's been, it started out about 13 today, and now it's about, it says they're 11 to 12, uh, so that's a perfect, perfect for us right now. So, right. so what else is it, uh, Brad, that you do besides farming? Are you used to farm 100% full-time? Um, I, we had talked earlier, I, I work at uh, Petroblend, an uh, oil company in Mason City, and uh, they actually sponsor, I think, this, you said, so. Yeah. Uh, nice little plug for them but uh, they they work really well with Brian my brother and I uh, Brian will come in in the winter and uh, and work more but I try to go in uh, you know all season and uh, if we're really busy in the field uh, Jeff uh, says no problem we can do it the next day or the, uh, when it rains so that's worked really well and my wife teaches uh, and with Mesa City Schools and uh, Brian's wife works in town too so it's a it's a group effort for everybody do you find, uh, uh, what, do you like to do the, the beans or corn better, is it, or is it kind of the same uh, thing? I like doing beans when they yield, yield good. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, before, you know, sometimes you're doing beans and it takes a long time to fill the tank up. And then, uh, um, I don't know, corn's a lot easier. There's not as much stuff to watch. Uh, you know, you're not running right on the ground like beans and, and don't have to worry about rocks. Uh, like I said, the auto steer in beans has made it a lot better. And, uh, but corn by far is, is much better. Not as not quite as dusty. Uh, uh -huh. But uh, yeah, if anything's yielding good, it's fun to harvest anything. So, what? as far as where the corn's going, you know, a lot of the all, all pretty much all our corn, corn goes to ethanol uh, from the North Idaho Co-op. We take everything there. The beans, uh, the AGP gets a lot of the beans. As far as what the, the corn's used for, that you know, that maybe you could explain to people. But yeah. most ours doesn't. You know, just goes right to North Iowa Co-op and then goes to the ethanol plant for corn. So it all stays pretty much local. Yes, it yeah. does. You bet. Which is kind of a big deal now. I mean, over the last year, isn't it? Yes, for us, ethanol has been a, a lifesaver because it's a good outlet for our corn. Um, 
and some of the cattle feed, but uh, but mostly ethanol for the corn. Yeah. Well, excellent. Well, Brad, thanks for letting us ride along yeah. with us today. Yeah, thanks for coming out today. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, it would, you know, you only see a, a certain amount of video, but sure. you know, it takes like hours upon hours to put this together. <laughs> I bet it does. <laughs> you make it that way, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, again, thanks for letting us have a safe harvest, yeah, all right? Will do. Thank you. All right. It's a cab camp right here. Thanks for our great sponsors, too. Check it out on our website as well, 987kisscountry.com.